back to another episode of Craft Truck Tech Bites. We are here inside the offices of Light Iron in Hollywood, one of the premier post-production houses for all things digital, really. And we're featuring, although we're in, in another episode of, uh, of Houses, we're going to be going through and looking at the, all, all their features and everything they do. Um, right now, what we're here to, to talk about with Dylan. Welcome, Dylan. Thank you. Like all great inventions, is a combination of a bunch of other things. Um, of both the outpost and then this other little system we have here called the lily pad. And why don't you tell us exactly what these things do in a nutshell? Sure. Yeah. Um, as I said, this is the outpost system. So this basically is our powerhouse cart. It does processing on set. Um, and then this is our lily pad. So basically what it does mainly <laughs> is on set color. Uh, so you begin, this cart can be on set while this cart could be in a uh, office and mm -hmm. they kind of can work in tandem and get the job done. Got it. So this is what you're going to take to set to actually create, and both, both systems can create dailies? Both systems can uh, create dailies in their own way. Um, they each have kind of a specific thing that they do better than the other. Um, this one's, again, more for processing power. It also has external storage, so you have more space for your uh, dailies. This one's more for onset color, so it's more of a creative suite for the DP. Got it. So. Let's, over the past five years, this uh, role of a DT, a DM, has gone from something that we didn't really understand has kind of gone up now. People are, there's kind of this nether region where you don't know whether the, the footage should go back to a post house for dailies or not. Light Iron will do dailies for you if you want in-house and they'll send them back out. Um, I know you guys also have a New York office, but if you're determined to have on-set creation of dailies with color, you can do it here. You can do it with these tools. Exactly. And you can, and well, are, are these tools usable by an, like a trained DM or do they need to be specifically trained in these softwares or systems or what? Um, they, there is some software on these that we do actually our own training on. So people can come in, do training with us. We also offer uh, courses and, and kind of hands-on training. Uh, so we have the facility and the people in order to make this kind of an easy an easy accessible uh, cart for anybody. Right, so these rent out, now you, and you guys get calls for these, from what I understand, you get calls for these all over the world, right? Sure. Can we ship them out, can we put them here, can we put them there? Why don't you just go over what is actually in, like, just like the, the bits that are in, technically, inside the whole system here. Sure. Um, the outpost cart kind of consists of uh, normally two towers, so you have one tower that does the main processing and then you have one tower for backup or you can do processing on that as well. kind of mm -hmm. depends on the show. Yeah. Um, it also has external storage. Uh, this one currently has an 8 bay, uh, each with three terabytes uh, hard drives. Um, on, on a normal cart, we'll have a 16 bay or you know more, depending on kind you're of shooting. how big the show is right. and how much you're shooting. Right. Um, you also have all your card readers, uh, depending on the show. So this one has red readers. You can put S by S card readers. Um, so it'll take AeriCam. AeriCam, yeah. AeriCam, it'll take RAW. It'll take Pro any format we can think of. Any format, bit. we can you know, kind of customize these in order to deliver on any show. Awesome. Um, this also has battery backup, um, as well as uh, the lily pad. Uh, the main difference with the lily pad, uh, you still have your readers. Um, you still have your, your GUI monitor. The difference um, on the inside is you only have one tower. Yeah. Um, and you also have a color grading monitor. And a lot of times we'll have a color surface, uh, color control surface with this as well. Right. You back up the truck, this thing wheels on. I mean, it's got a flight case kind of on top of it. Does it, does it sure, down? all these, all the components fold up into the cart. Uh, so it's just an easily movable uh, system. And easy as movable. far as I know, this is pretty much, I mean, between, the, there, there are other competitors who we won't mention who make other systems, but as far as like independent companies making a system like this, this is pretty much it. I mean, this is pretty much the top of the line. If you say so. <laughs> <laughs> pretty we like to guy. think it is. The, the Light Iron's actually a very modest company. Dill is actually a very modest guy. That speaks highly of them. Um, this is great stuff. So for Craft Truck Tech Bites, we have the Light Iron Outpost, the Light Iron Lily Pad. Very cool products if you're shooting and your budget can withstand even a small amount of uh, data management, uh, it's really a great thing to have on your set. It makes things go so much smoother down the line for post and for everything that you have to do color-wise. And uh, you should definitely look into checking it out no matter where you are because they'll ship. Craft Jack Tech Bites. Thanks, Dylan. Thank you. That was awesome.